Thanks for checking our channel. Here's just a little kind of show and tell video of a, of a Parmac Super Energizer 5 or SE5. Um, came to us for repair. The SE5 has been around, uh, it's probably pushing close to 15 years now, probably 12, 13, somewhere in that range. They had a blue case version early on, and about uh, eight, nine years ago, 10 years ago, they came out with the uh, with the red one that they currently current color case now. Now I think all their stuff, the AC and 12 volt, I believe all of them are in this red plastic case now. They're as a 2023-24 range. The um, solar ones are still in a metal case, but the all their plug-in models and all their uh, battery model that use external battery stuff are all plastic uh, units now, which is fine. Everybody's plastic these days. Anyway, this one came to us for repair. Got the unit going. It's doing a weird um, deal. It's uh, coming on and just flashing zero zero, and it's flashing real fast and pause and flash handful of times, pause and flash real. I don't know. Just doing weird stuff. And I've never seen an issue before. That's a weird fault uh, symptom to have. So we just had to go through it and test things and figure it out. So, but now it's working fine. We'll plug it in here and show you. Um, probably it's not a bad brand by any means. They they got their quirks with their stuff, but they're you know for the money they're not a a bad one to look at. This is their second to largest unit. It's a, um, a fifty mile range to call it. It's probably about two or three joule output somewhere in that range. So not a like a big big hard heavy duty power jewel unit but for most uh semi small acreage you know i'd say you know from small very small acres you know less than an acre all the way to maybe like 50 acres you'd be all right with something like this uh if they're bigger or like say 25 to 50 acres if you got a lot of grass to worry about probably wouldn't rely on this one this doesn't have the kick that some of the bigger ones do jewel wise but um uh, the next size bigger parmac called the range master or rm-1 um, that's their six joule unit, it's a hundred mile range, they call it. Um, now you see it's working, it's kind of bounced between 14 and 15 kV. These numbers kind of fluctuate, there's a little feedback wire on the, that tie things together on the board and transformer. And that wire, you know, moves an eighth of an inch, the number changes by a half a kilovolt. <clears throat> but it's working, it's doing fine now. We'll put a, um, uh, tester across it. Now the, Test that we use is this Gallagher one here, a really, really very reliable tester. Uh, probably on the higher end of price, probably about six to seventy dollars for for the thing, but it's very accurate. That number on the front there is, is misleading, voltage wise. They so were getting um, eight point three. Oops, let me get my tester stay put. Now about eight and a half kV roughly, which is about normal. It's kind of hit between eight and nine. KV, so that number is not. Don't use it as a guarantee. Oh, it's been out fifteen thousand volts. No, it's not. It's been out about eight to nine. Um, but that number is really good for. It's a, it's a gimmick number. Number number wise, that what it's doing, showing is a gimmick. But this function of what it's trying to tell you what's going on with the fence conditions is very good, because if your fence is nice and clean. And you're no problems on the fence and everything. It'll show a you know 12 plus kV on the front. And if you go out you know a month later and you, you see it's reading like four or seven or three, you know, a lot lower number what it was before. Then typically it means you got a problem with the fence out there where something's dragging it down. <clears throat> so, so what you can do if you got one of these digital readout Parmac units, um, you can turn it off, disconnect your fence and ground. Turn it back on. The number went from say two or five or seven or whatever it was reading, all all the way to twelve plus on the front there. Then the unit's fine, most likely, and that you've got a um, um, fence problem. Something shorting the fence out, dragging it down some that you're not aware of or haven't found yet. So then that, that way you'd say, "Oh my, charger's got a problem." Like, you know, charger's fine. Uh, it's your fence. But if it stayed the same, the voltage stayed down real low on the front there with nothing hooked up to it, then you know, definitely, definitely an issue on the inside somewhere. And then you can send it to a place like us to work on. But here's your information for you. So if you got one of these Parmac units, uh, SE5 or Mark 8 or Mark 7, Mark 6, whatever, solar one, non solar one, 12 volt, AC, whatever, a Parmac unit would be happy to take a look at it for you. We do work on other brands. We work on all, all brands actually of old stuff, new stuff. 
We do this full time. This is not a part time gig for fun that we do. We do this. This is my job. Work on these things and fix things for people. <clears throat> yeah, I used to have a full time job, but don't do that no more. And did this full time now for a handful of years. So, but anyways, um, if you've uh, got any questions, let me know. You can give us a call. Send a message down below. But um, Parvex, a you know, pretty good unit for the money. So if we're looking for a good replacement unit, this would be brand. This would be a good good brand to look at. Um, we we do get them in for repair, but the good thing is, or I can get parts for them. You know, parts are available. You can get parts for thirty five year old, thirty year old Parmax as well. So they're real good about service and repairs on, especially even on units that have been discontinued for fifteen years, twenty five years. You can still get parts for them. So they're real good about that. But um, until next time, see you guys later on. Have a good rest of your day. And subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the thumbs up button if you, if you have subscribed or if you liked the video. And tell your friends about us. Until next time, see you later.